Hi guys, today I'll be talking about niacinamide. What is niacinamide? Niacinamide or vitamin B3 is an important nutrient and is a precursor to important cofactors, nicotinamide adene dinucleotide, NAD, and its phosphate derivative, nicotinamide adene dinucleotide phosphate, NADP. These cofactors and their reduced forms, NADH and NADPH, act as redox coenzymes and are involved in various enzymatic reactions, while reduced forms are antioxidants. Pellagra, a disease which, which includes dermatitis and red lesions, can occur from deficiency of vitamin B. As we age, NAD and NADPH levels in skin cells age as well. Therefore, aging skin needs vitamin B supplements to slow down signs of aging. When topical niacinamide is applied to the skin, it penetrates through and, and is delivered to specific sites in the skin. Some of the benefits include decreased redness, sebum, pore size, as well as improvements in texture and hyperpigmented spots. Stratum corneum barrier, elasticity and hydration is also improved with regular use. Niacinamide also improves protein synthesis, for example, keratin, as well as ceramide synthesis and keratinocyte differentiation. Photocarcinogenesis and photoimmunosuppression in aging skin are also inhibited with niacinamide use, which minimizes loss of dermal collagen that contributes to photo aging. Niacinamide combined with other ingredients in skincare can produce even greater benefits in the skin. Acne and bolus pemphigoid improvements have been observed with human testing of topical niacinamide. Skin barrier is also improved with skin disorders including rosacea and acne as it displays anti-inflammatory effects. And when niacinamide is, is applied in conjunction with retinoid, it is believed to improve photo damage and improve skin tolerability. Active ingredients. Vitamin B3 is found in different food sources including meat, nuts, whole grains, legumes and yeast. Niacinamide, aka nicotinamide, Nicotinic acid and nicotinate esters are the three main forms of vitamin B3 that are incorporated in skincare products. Most skin benefits are observed with niacinamide, whereas nicotinic acid and most nicotinate esters can produce side effects such as skin irritation. Mechanism of, um, of action. NAD and NADP are cofactors of niacinamide and are responsible for various biochemical reactions in the skin. These biochemical reactions can alter various metabolic pathways leading to changes in skin function. NADPH is, is also involved in the synthesis of fatty acids and more complex lipids including ceramides. NADH is believed to inhibit certain enzymes required for gly glycosaminoglycan synthesis. Skin barriers improved with increased ceramides in the stratum corneum from regular use of niacinamides. The appearance of wrinkles are also improved with the reduction of excess gags in the dermis. Niacinamide has also been found to improve changes in the skin from UV exposure, particularly UVB. This includes decreased PGE2 production from keratinocytes. Topical and oral niacinamide can protect cellular structure integrity from UV damage. Clinical benefits. There are a few clinical benefits that niacinamide can produce and one is reduction in surface sebum, pore size and texture appearance. Niacinamide when applied to the skin decreases pore size and number as well as a reduction in facial sebum. Sebum components including Glyceride and fatty acids in particular are reduced with regular niacinamide use. Dehydroacetic acid or its salt sodium dehydroacetate incorporated in many niacinamide products are surface sebum reducing ingredients which are incorporated to, incorporated to reduce skin sebum levels. Furthermore, reduced pore size contributes to decreased sebum and improves skin texture. Number two, improved epidermal barrier function. Niacinamide has been found to improve keratinocyte differentiation, increase synthesis of free fatty acids, ceramides and cholesterol. Applying 2% niacinamide to the skin 
to dry skin improves epidermal barrier function including decreased transepidermal water loss and an improved moisture in the horny layer. 3. Increased keratinocyte differentiation. Topical niacinamide increases keratinocyte differentiation in particular keratin 1, I mean K1. Keratin K1 is a simple keratin which is normally synthesized in the lower layer of the stratum spinosum. Psoriasis vulgaris, which is a skin condition characterized by dry skin, can be improved with topical niacinamide through encouraging cell proliferation. 4. Reduction in signs of skin aging. Various morphological and functional changes occur with skin aging. The reduction in, in epidermal cell layers and decrease in protein and collagen synthesis in the dermis contributes to the formation of wrinkles and atrophy. Decreased protein synthesis is seen in filigrin, keratin and infolucrin. Keratin deficiency impacts epidermal cell structure and water binding ability. Filigrin, which is the precursor of natural moisturizing factor. Infolucrin is required for cell envelope and stratum quinine structure. And in co conclusion, decreased protein synthesis results in a weaker structure and skin elasticity is reduced. Epidermal barrier function is also decreased and horny layer moisture is lowered. Decreased epidermal cell turnover is associated with aging skin and is due to the lack of NADP in aging cells. Niacinamide reduces signs of skin aging and has been found to increase NADP levels to that of young cells. Niacinamide has also been shown to produce Stimulatory effects on collagen synthesis, epidermal biopolymers, keratin, involucrin and filigrin. Overall, niacinamide increases epidermal and dermal cell growth. And five, prevention in UV-induced immunosuppression and actinic keratosis. UV radiation contrib contributes to the development of reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species are involved in the formation of free radicals that cause damage to DNA, lipids and, and proteins. UVC can lead to cell death and apoptosis, often seen in photocarcinogenesis. However, the addition of niacin is believed to reduce morpholo morphological changes to the cells. Topical niacinamide is also believed to prevent photoimmunosuppression and photocarcinogenesis, obstructing this pathway and inhibiting UV-induced immunosuppression reduces the onset of cancer. The onset of actinic keratosis have, has also been found to be reduced with niacinamide. And finally, number six, reduction in hyperpigmented appearance. Facial hyperpigmentation, mainly hyperpigmented spots, are improved with the application of topical niacinamide. Niacinamide is believed to inhibit the transfer of melanosomes from melanocytes to keratinocytes, making it an effective treatment for reducing pigment disorders. Significant effects are usually observed after four weeks of regular use of niacinamide. So you can see here that there's been a reduction in wrinkles and fine lines as well as in the second photo. This lady with rosacea has seen there's been a reduction in redness over her cheeks. Uses Topical niacinamide is used in skincare products to improve different skin concerns mentioned earlier, including decreased surface sebum, pore size, and texture appearance, reduction in the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and reduction in the appearance of hyperpigmentation. Niacinamide can also be used for acne and rosacea in conjunction with topical retinoids. Possible side effects. Concentrations of up to 5% niacinamide are commonly used in cosmetic products. These concentrations are usually tolerated well, although mild skin irritation has occasionally been observed in some cases. Concentrations of less than 1% of Nicotinic acid form of vitamin B3 can cause vasodilation, which contributes to increased skin redness following use. This response is usually accompanied with itching and irritation. 
Concentrations of less than 1% of nicotinic acid esters can lead to skin irritation and redness due to skin hydrolysis to free nicotinic acid. Thank you for listening.